This college basketball picks edition of the Sports Gambling Podcast is presented by WinBet. WinBet is now live in Arizona, Colorado, Indiana, Louisiana, Michigan, New Jersey, New York, Tennessee, and Virginia. From boosted same game parlays to live in game odds, WinBet has what you need to win. Sign up today, bet 100, get 100 at sportsgamblingpodcast.com slash WinBet. That's sportsgamblingpodcast.com slash WYNNBET. Safe restrictions apply. Hey, everybody, Joe Theismann here. You're listening to SGPN. So do this, let it ride. Welcome everyone to the Sports Gambling Podcast. I'm Sean, second the money green with my partner in picks, Ryan. Real money, Kramer. What's happening, Kramer? Just uh, firing the the tech team for accidentally displaying the Doctor Phil watch party text. Which stay tuned to later on tonight. Breaking news: If you're watching this live, or if you if you're catching the uh, the show. Before uh, five o'clock Pacific, eight o'clock East, we are going to be doing a live Dr. Phil watch party uh, in the Discord, also available on SGPN TV. So it'll be up there after. Not available on YouTube. This is a Discord SGPN TV exclusive. Going to be a lot of fun. Joining us here to talk college basketball, Colby Dan, aka the Dantabase. What's up, Colby? How you doing, Stack in the Green? Wow. Doing great, man. Doing great. Can't complain. That's, what's happening? That, that's a Doctor Phil reference, guys. <laughs> oh, well, I, I haven't seen it yet. Please, no spoilers. No spoilers. Uh, I will say, I, I was asked by uh, greater than zero people if Doctor Phil would be attending the Doctor Phil watch party. No. Okay. No. And again, to people who keep asking, I get some very weird emails uh, once you appear on Doctor Phil. But no, I'm not going to be a regular part of the cast. <laughs> Uh, please do the- tell. <laughs> please do tell about some of these other weird emails. There was another email where it was like this guy. I gotta read you this email from Nightload sixty nine at. Uh- <laughs> well, and Benedict Dantold wants to know if Charles will be there. This is a, yeah, uh, Benedict <laughs> Dant. Uh, no, there's no Charles. Although I, he'd be happy to come on the show. May trigger him into a relapse. This is an email I got, which I assume is from the Dr. Phil appearance. The sport of basketball is the name of the title. Do you play any sports such as basketball when you were growing up? Did you ever have a buzz cut haircut? If so, <laughs> did you use the number one blade on the hair clippers for your buzz cut haircut? I go, I got to respond back to this guy. I go, yeah, I played basketball growing up, rocking number one buzz cut today. And then he <laughs> blow, and then he responds back below is the link where you can purchase a book that I wrote under my pen name, Wilbur Hay, about oh. buzz cuts and shaved heads. He hooked you. Below is the sample <laughs> where you can purchase another book I wrote <laughs> about sports. That's so like a, that, that thing's flying off the shelves, huh? Did you order the book? That's like a Twitter thread, an email form. <laughs> Very bizarre. Very bizarre. All right, we got so much to get to, including a shit ton of. College basketball picks. Listen to that sound. College basketball is here. And if you're looking to bet on college hoops, you gotta bet with the best. AKA WinBet, sportsgivenpackets.com slash WinBet. Head over there, bet 100, get 100. Oh, yeah. State restrictions apply. Spin that parlay wheel. Fire it up. Let's go. Massachusetts coming soon. Sportsgamblingpodcast.com slash W-Y-N-N-B-E-T. Sign up today. Get that special offer. Bet 100. Get 100. Limited to state availability. And of course, if you hit the biggest parlay of the week, you get that $1,000 free credit. Hashtag digits only. So many ways to win. Sportsgamblingpodcast.com slash win bet. Offer subject to change terms and conditions at winbet.com. Must be 21 or older. President of the state will play through winbet is available. If you or somebody you know has a gambling problem, call 1 800 522 4700. And hey, uh, how about the merch store? Store.sportsgamblingpodcast.com. The first half undershirts are in the store and they are 
fire. We got a bunch of uh, cool color combinations in there as well. We just ordered ours for our trip uh, to Las Vegas. Buzz cuts and basketballs are, might be there in the future. <laughs> are we? It, it is a nice, uh, nice little uh, alliteration there. <laughs> are we worried at all uh, about the heat that's coming? What heat? Other people claiming the first half under trend. No, mm. no, no. I mean, again, we if you can find someone talking about first half unders on a podcast or show, tag us pre twenty eleven. We're all uh, totally open. I mean, we're like uh, Columbus discovered America. Yeah, maybe some other people claim they were living there, <laughs> Look, but as, we discovered <laughs> it. Yeah, I mean, as someone who knows Dick Olson, it's like national it, championships in college football. Right. Yeah. Uh, Galactic Dragons wants to know what days y'all gonna be in Vegas. Uh, we'll be getting there. What Mar days aren't we? Yeah, <laughs> March thirteenth. Uh, we get there. Flight lands. The jet arrives, and then we will be there until uh, March eighteenth, flying back. So, live shows from the uh, Win Studio in beautiful Las Vegas. All right, ton of games to get to, but even before that, we have to what get to this week's edition of Real Women of DGens. SGPN presents Real Men of DGENS. Real Men of DGENS. We salute you. Sarah King. That's right. An Orange County woman is facing claims that she funded a six month gambling spree at the Win Las Vegas using a $10 million fraud scheme where apparently she was, quote, gambling 24 7. Uh, she alleged 97 loans to third party borrowers, which she simply made up. Uh, apparently all that money is gone, uh, providing evidence that she only has quote $11 and 98 cents to her name. So, a couple some, things. Somebody told me this is a documentary on Netflix. No, oh, it's gotta be. Uh, she, uh, she was seen golfing with Tom Brady yes. and Aaron Rodgers, yes. right? <laughs> we salute you, Sarah. I mean, there's a good chance we were hanging out playing crafts, sitting at the blackjack table with a woman on a hell of a run. These legendary grifters, <laughs> like, I, I mean, I I understand that on some level they're committing a crime, but it's a someone is also giving them this stuff. Yeah, I, I, like I understand you can, you know, maybe there were some fraudulent documents. What are you a lawyer? <laughs> No, no, no. What's going I, on over here? I'm just saying, like, whenever you hear about these glorious cases, it's like, oh, this was this was like a Tom Hanks and uh, Catch Me If You Can situation. Like, yeah. the, the, they, like, this is elite level activity. Because think about what you have to do to not only con people to get the money, but then con humans to be, like, in friend relationships with you and think that you're actually a rich person. This is like, we're lucky these people didn't decide to kill. Well, this is why Giselle broke up with Brady. This right? is why, <laughs> oh. clearly. Now right? that being said, I, you know that some fucking non-gambler wrote the article, gambling twenty-four-seven. I mean, come on. Yeah, yeah. Like hashtag digits only. You can, I mean, I, I know that some of us have done participated in twenty-four by seven activities, <laughs> aka a twenty-four hour best ball draft. But to the <laughs> idea that you're not sleeping at all is just ridiculous. I mean, you can be a degenerate and also. <laughs> catch a couple naps. Yeah. You get six hours of sleep. You're ready to go hit the tables again. Let it ride. All right. Let's get to the picks. All right. Clemson NC. St I thought we cut this game. Colby. Nope. How, how did this game make Colby the list? It was a very unlucky 13 games. Well, uh, although shout out to Colby. We give him shit, but he is on a heater. Locks mm. are hitting at 70%. And nine out of the last ten locks. So again, I was that good? had a pretty shitty uh episode last week. Although or episode, although still got one of my locks. Kramer hit both of his locks. Thank you. Kramer and I both our lock percentage fifty three percent. So still technically and, professional. And play some dramatic music, please. No, better. You got UFC. You got the. Come on, give me something better. Uh, this is important because in the first for the first time. Just like the first time we hit a first half under Sean for the first time in show history, I have conquered the fucking tri puss. <laughs> you made fun of me for giving out this parlay, but it is the first one to cash in show history. Kentucky, Wisconsin, and Clemson collaborated to generate me some money. Hopefully, 
<laughs> There's a tripos. Hopefully, uh, generate. We, we might need a tripos T-shirt. Drew with my. I mean, what is the tripos sound drop uh, other than Shakira? I, it's got to be Shakira. <laughs> I mean, that's just the sound a tripos makes in the wild, man. It's true. It's we uh, do have a new sound effect. I will be debuting for the Texas Baylor game. So not that you would tune out, but make sure you stay tuned for that one. And Sean, uh, we should let the sales team know Benedict Dantel with a great idea. We need a sponsor for the tout portion of the program. <laughs> Maybe men's health, <laughs> like uh, something oh, that gets actually, you rock hard. We, we, we possibly <laughs> have a, sw- a sponsor coming up. All right. Well, Don't not, want to reveal it not yet, to but. give away the sponsor, but as we just uh, on on the uh, corporate conference call as we were discussing the ad partnership mm. i did for a minute forget there was a woman on the show on the call and so w- <laughs> when, when things started getting well, hot when heavy, i just I like, randomly oh. start improvising some ed yeah. reads and then she chimed in i was like oh shit i forgot you, <laughs> i forgot you were here this could have gone horribly wrong i've i've seen people get canceled for less all right anything else to tout talk no. about the tripos was pretty epic you're i mean no, I mean, just the, the 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 idea of me hitting the tripos when you guys completely struck out too. I mean, Jesus. <laughs> all right, Clemson. Well, uh, we did take money line dogs, so yeah, and I won. Well, so there, you there go. is Congrats. that Clemson, <laughs> NC State. It's not about winning, right? It's about giving out sweet pets. Yeah, you know, it's like he doesn't like a plus six hundred. <laughs> dog. I mean, that's a that's like a I, I, that's a sixteen I, point dog on a I Sunday. Said congratulations, yeah. oh, Tri- the tripos undefeated with your tripos plays, right? Uh oh. Uh, uh, Clemson, NC State, NC State lane six and a half here. This uh, is a huge game because does the horseshoe travel? <laughs> this is a huge game because Miami and Pitt are currently at the top of the ACC, but they play each other in in a couple of days. Uh, also, Virginia plays at Carolina this Saturday. That game got cut, not on the board, but Clemson uh. and Virginia still play each other. So, like, p- basically, NC State and Clemson still very much alive to win the ACC one seed. That's why this beat I, out uh, Virginia, Carolina, I and, told and Virginia Colby Tech, Duke. To make sure we note all the games that got cut, so we can make. <laughs> I got them here for you. <laughs> Colby. I mean, how can you how can you go against NC State at this point? Well, they're just filthy, filthy. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? They're a terrible program, terrible institution. Last away win yeah. was a one point win at Tallahassee. Who's wait? Uh, Flor- NC State. NC at State's home. at home though. Sorry. Yeah. I was doing my Clemson spiel. Yeah. I mean, Clemson horrible at offensive rebounding, twenty three point one percent, three hundred thirtieth in the country. They do have a nice edge at the free throw line, though, uh, over seven uh, percent against NC State. I, but I don't know, man. I mean, every time I go against NC State, they 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 I, I they just they, I, they just can't lose right now. No, I think you, especially in Raleigh. I mean, how in Raleigh, they, like I, their, their I, fans I, are showing up. They they're choke. fifteen and one at home because they're choke artists. But no, I mean that what I was saying. I don't about understand Clemson how they lost to UNC. The horseshoe. That's, that's the one that doesn't make sense. The horseshoe in Clemson's ass doesn't seem to travel well. So. It's, look, they're gonna win this one, but they're gonna lose at Duke, which will cost them the the one seat. I can't wait to watch the thirty for thirty about the downfall of the ACC and have the Coach K interview where he takes he takes credit. He's like, "Yeah, once I left, that was the end." That was <laughs> him that and was, Roy Williams will both be sitting there. <laughs> that's the nail in the cuff, and they're just hitting the hit it with a hammer. Great. Uh, are wait. we worried about uh, Clemson backdoor, or or are we going no, NC no, State? We're going NC State. All right. uh, I mean, Clemson's been a pretty. They're what four and five on the road this year. Five and five in their last ten. The let, let, look, they hit the road and lost to Louisville. You can't take them in the spot, no. even though I. And hate Kramer, NC you pointed State. out. Uh, so Discord is on Clemson, but mm. we have not uh, since. Clemson has one winning week in this calendar year. No, uh, Discord. Discords. What did I say? Clemson. The, the Discord has one winning <laughs> day, one winning show. Two, two, two winning shows. Yeah. Oh. But out of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten shows, they have t- two of those. They've come home with the winning record. Or was I looking? No, you're right. Yeah, I, I was right. Come on now. I was looking at. Uh, I thought it was January Listen, 4th. If someone is here knows how to frame data, it's me. <laughs> it's a good frame. Discord's on a on a on a cooler. Fuck the Discord. All right, are we all? So we agree. Yes, NC State for the Creighton win and head, the cover. Creighton heads to not Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, but Villanova, Pennsylvania. No, 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 no. This one's Philadelphia. Oh, this God. is Wells Fargo Center. <laughs> yeah, come on. Yeah, this Coley? is not the uh, not what is it, New Brawny even... or some shit like that. No, it's in Villanova. We learned it. All right. Mm. Anyway, Villanova not hosting this one. It's at the Wells Fargo Center. Which shout out to Wells Fargo yeah. for shout out to bailing those bastards closing out. Closing the right? fucking. Uh, <clears throat> I had to go down and retrieve my gold coins. 
funds from the safe deposit box because they're no longer having a safe deposit box. So fuck, fuck Wells Fargo. I gotta gotta keep my gold coins at home now. <laughs> how how inconvenient. Creighton minus four here on the road. Uh, feels trappy. This guy's I, hanging on to a buffalo nickel, Sean. I, well, that right. would be worth some money. I <laughs> wish I had a buffalo nickel, and I, I'm, Sean, will tell you all the good reasons why you're going to take Villanova well, here. It, but how I, do you not take Villanova here? It, I, I guess the only thing that scares me off Villanova is the situational spot of Creighton coming off a home loss against Marquette. Who again, Marquette is oh, that, uh, was, and what that was a brutal there? that was a brutal way to lose for Creighton. But now they're coming off a loss in Villanova, coming off a a really nice win where you know Moore uh, just established himself. I got a, a live true. line oh. on this one and it's five and a half. Oh Whoa. my god. Yeah. All right. Update it. Yeah. I mean, you're crazy not to take Villanova plus five and a half. Like this team seems to have figured out some shit. And again, they're number one in the nation in free throw percentage. They're good at home. I I, I don't know why you wouldn't take Villanova. And I do think they're a live dog. The situation mm. spot Creighton of fading is, Creighton off a loss is scary because they obviously they're better. a good team. Much better. I'm all over Villanova. Justin Moore's back, and uh, He's look, back if he and, had been healthy all year, way. they would be in the NCAA tournament. Everyone was screaming, "Kyle Neptune is not a good coach." That's a bunch of bullshit. All right, mm. his roster wasn't there. He's a good coach. Don't panic. The, the future is bright in Philly. Jay, Jay Wright also part of that documentary, the downfall of the AC. He's <laughs> not in the ACC. You're right, he, Michael he's, Crichton. He's right huh? there with him. Oh no, I'm I'm taking Villanova. Okay, Discord's getting loaded up. I mean, Creighton is a—they're obviously a, a wagon, as the kids say, at home. But wow. I, I don't know—they're not—they're not quite the same team. Long on the road, road trip from uh, Nebraska to well, in in the same way that it helps them when teams come out there. I think it does hurt them yeah. to a certain you degree. You don't think they're having some flight delays with this weather? And it's a new—it's a noon tip. Now that's got to be weird for your body clock if you're Creighton. What is that like? It's like 6 a.m. <laughs> Nebraska time. I don't know how it works. Well, yeah, I, I assume they have to take some sort of horse carriage oh, to, Gary the, to the border and Gary, then fly out from there. <laughs> Gary K in the YouTube chat saying Discord <laughs> Discord accepts Creighton LFG. <laughs> I am a little worried about Gary's. Oh, I, I like this. I like. I like having a representative of the Discord in in the chat to let us know if they're happy or not about the pick. It's me, Candy Morgan, probably a guy using his wife's YouTube account, but says uh, <laughs> Bill, there's no way that's actually. It's like it's probably his daughter's like influencer account where she unwraps a presence uh, on the internet. Villano only fans, maybe. <laughs> well, it's YouTube. <laughs> Villanova on the ban list for losing to Portland. Hey, that's that's certainly true. No, that's that, certainly dude, that true. That was early in the year. They're no, well, I'm saying like the, this. Justin Moore is the healthy Justin. Moore. They also didn't have back then for the Portland game. They didn't have Cam Whitmore, who's their star freshman oh, wow. and third leading scorer. You're making Colby bring out the roster. No, I, I, I mean, I get why you're hesitant on Villanova, but I think they turned the corner with. Do we bet game. on Villanova to win the Big East Conference tournament? What's that price? I, I, I'll look while we're uh, talking about the next game. Little, little battle down there in Texas. Uh, Sean, what did I see? Uh, speaking of Texas, is Elon Elon coming back? Coming back home? Come back to leaving, Cali? Leaving Texas? Well, TCU and Texas Tech aren't leaving Texas. They're going to Lubbock. Texas Tech laying a point here once again. Reminder out there: if you're just checking into college basketball, just watch the Big Twelve. It's all that matters. It's pretty I, damn good. All right, let me ask you this: hypothetical, hypothetical odds. You get the Big Twelve versus the field. Big Twelve plus one fifty to win the national championship. Oh, I'll take that. Yeah, yeah. All right. I mean, Sean? I think it's a strong chance. Sean, Big Twelve plus one fifty versus the field. Oh, for the championship. Yeah. Mm. We haven't seen three teams from one conference in the Final Four since eighty six, and uh, with the Big East, I think it's possible this year we see three Wait, teams. Yeah. No, I, I. What happens though is like I, I don't know. I, I would take I would take the field. I, I see why you'd make the case for the Big Twelve, but inevitably one of these teams gets hot. UCLA, the Bruins, like there's some there's some team out there that is going to dethrone them. I but well, at that's plus one fifty, that's bet. a pretty good price. I would take the field, but I don't. I, I, I see the case for the Big Twelve. I would imagine like it's probably where they'd have to offer it, if not even less. I mean, well, well, look, the past two champions are Big Twelve. The uh, the, the COVID we're, we're year watch, probably would have been Big Twelve with Kansas or Baylor. So, they're so deep and, with teams that can win the net, like you would say, can win the national. What even four years ago, Texas Tech probably should have won a regulation against Virginia, so they probably should have the past four yeah. national champions. All right, uh, 
TCU, Texas, Te- Texas Tech minus one. So, I mean, they're hot right now. They are hot, but uh, TCU coming off the loss, I still have a future that I think TCU oh, can wow. win the national so- championship. Uh, I think TCU really? goes on the road and gets it done here. Th- this is a weird. Th- they're both weird teams in that Texas Tech is, they're better on the road ATS than they are at home. Texas Tech six and nine ATS at home, five three and one on the road. So I don't know TCU. What scares me about TCU is obviously behind the arc, twenty nine point one percent, three hundred fifty two in the country. But I do. I am kind of with Colby. I do like them overall as a team. I still think they have a. You know, maybe you put them in the make some noise, make a little bit of a run team. They were they were dealing with injuries a lot of the year too. Uh, seems like everyone's getting healthy right now. I know they lost to Kansas, uh, but it's a get right spot. I think I think uh, the Horn Frogs get it done in Lubbock. Yeah, I mean, when we were talking about this, I said TCU has to be favored, and so yeah, get give me wrong team favored. I'm with you. I'm going Let's TCU. Roll it out. Wow. Everyone's a uh, discord three picks so far. No disagreements. Uh, I'm, I'm having, a, I'm not seeing any conference odds right now, but I, I think maybe we do take a stab in Villanova to run that back discord. Yeah. Jesus Christ. All right. Uh, maybe they have to parlay these ones. Another 9.00 AM tip pretty lit day of basketball based on the, the games that we cut uh, Oklahoma heads to Iowa state. Another big 12 matchup here. The chat's going to start thinking we have an agenda Colby. Mm. Iowa State laying seven, man. I, I'm, you know, Porter Moser is one hell of a good-looking coach. Not like that filthy scumbag Nate Oates. <laughs> I, I mean, at this point, I feel like I've been through a, a soap opera-like relationship with Porter Moser. I want to love him, and things seem good, and then he treats me like shit. This is a this is a do or die moment for us. No, but you team. keep saying that he's dead. Yeah, this I'm, team sucks. I'm Benedict Antold in the chat's pointing out Oklahoma's dead. Why? I think, why did we not cut this game? I Colby? think they are DOA, especially going up against this Iowa State you, defense. They're eighth in the country in adjusted ah, efficiency. You specifically said no cutting Big Twelve games. That's true. I did yeah. say that. I did. Say <laughs> it, no, this should this should be a good game, but I still think Iowa State in Ames, man. In hindsight, should have cut this game. I'm Colby, so, you, I'm it sorry. sounds like you're taking Oklahoma. I am going to take Oklahoma. I see. They, I, they should I have beat Texas in Austin. That's they a didn't get it game. done. Uh, I think I think Colby, this is a game. But I was I was state at home. They're Colby, a different was, team. I, know, I, know. I was state nine and five ATS. Oklahoma three and five on the road ATS. What was the game we cut because of this game? We cut a lot. Of, we cut give me, San give me Diego some. State at New oh Mexico. Oh my! I'm so sorry, San Diego State. We, we New cut Mexico, uh, for cutting you in, in New Mexico. You got rid of the Lobos. Yeah. The Lobos are back. Colby. We cut they Michigan State at Iowa. We oh cut Virginia God. Tech. Oh, that's at enough. Duke. That's enough. Yeah. Don't, we don't want to tease the whole show. All right. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm, I'm 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 looking at the sheet. No Lehigh at Boston. Mm-hmm. You well, that was a big yeah, game. That, the Mountain Hawks versus the Terriers. This is much watch, much must watch basketball. All right, so <laughs> we're we're finally disagreeing. Colby's taking Oklahoma. Give me You're, the Sooners. To what cover. is it? What it is seems it, too easy. What is it about? Yeah. See, I'm not going to overthink that, that that you fell in love with. What are you talking about? Is it his jawline? Uh, I'm not a I'm not a big Oklahoma he's, backer. He yeah, rumor has it he's already got his uh, house sold and he's uh, got property in South Bend. Which one's uh, the ch- is he is he you know making profit off that or what? Mm, uh, you know I don't think the Oklahoma real estate market <laughs> is quite as dynamic as the one out here in uh, California. We finally disagree. Speaking of which, when you again making fun of me last show constantly with my horrible picks, do you know Sean that when you and Colby agreed. And disagreed with me. You only won one of those. I won the rest. Mm. It's fucking on fire. Sounds like you're looking in the rear view. No, I'm just. I'm, I'm looking through the windshield. No, I'm just reminding you of the shit that goes wrong mm. sometimes. Arkansas heads <laughs> sometimes. Well, speaking of shit going wrong, wrong, wrong place, wrong time. Arkansas heads to Alabama. Alabama. How does this team not completely just exp- the the heat in Tuscaloosa the is fact- real. I've watched forensic files enough to know what happens at the end of this story. There are some untruths being told. Alabama's still laying eight. 
The fact that Alabama is saying fuck it and playing <laughs> yeah. two of those guys that uh, the heat is in the hat, but will the heat be uh, in Tuscaloosa, Alabama? Oh my God! How do you take Alabama here? I can't. I got to take Arkansas. So I it, mean, can you explain? The, so clearly, well, and also too, like that was a very th- that win that the way they dramatic. You know, Brandon Miller, of course, did he dedicate the win to the victims? I I didn't I didn't see that, but he won in dramatic. Nate, fashion. Nate might have dedicated it to Ray Lewis. <laughs> oh he gave him God. a phone call. <laughs> I mean, um, can you sound more yeah. more guilty? Like, ah, uh, yeah, we called up OJ just to get yeah. his get his get his take on being at the wrong Look, place at the wrong oh time, no, being you, accused this of things. This would only happen. You could have got the SEC, man. He's gonna I write a book. I feel like in any other situation, any other school, any other conference, if I did they're it. suspended. Well, now, until they figure things out, at least. Well, now you know yeah. Alabama's officially a basketball school. If they're letting <laughs> uh, accessory to murder yeah, yeah. out on the court. This is a this is a, a really strong I mean, look. And let's yeah, let's, let's give some respect to New Mexico State for shutting things down. Yeah. When yeah. when things got hot, they did they and, were like and, right. and the law is on the side of the New Mexico State guy. They're saying, hey, self defense. Yeah. Not, the law the law might be on the side of the uh, Alabama guys, but uh, for the wrong reasons. <laughs> I mean, just, just, j- yeah, I can't. Is this, but isn't this, uh, you know, all the drama aside, like they seem to get up for that game, or at least like they came out cold, Alabama, and then they they were down, losing, what? you know, in a game they should have won. They won in dramatic fashion. I when feel did, like that's draining. When right? did the news yeah. happen? When did the new the second news come out? Oh, just the uh, right before the the day before a South Carolina game. Okay, which they almost so, lost. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you might have to make a slight tweak to your crime pays uh, well, theory. Uh, well, well, they he, didn't he, cover, but they did. Well, get here's the, win. the thing. Even though I the, the law seems to be also on the side of of the two players, but I would oh. imagine the, oh. the institution, the institution should probably the be in the, the morally s- right side of this, which they're not. But uh, at, at least pretend to care. Just go, hey, we're gonna shut him down for the rest of the regular season, then bring him back in the tournament. Even a week. Did, did you see like, some sort yeah. of? Did, at the very least, he embarrassed the program, right? Or like both brought of, shame to the two program. Starters. Yeah, yeah. Bradley well, it's, as well. It's even worse than that. Nate, did you see Nate Oates as a? So oh Nate Oates' God. original his idiot. original statement was horrible, but then his apology was like it didn't seem sincere at all. No, it was yeah. like one of those things where you're like, I'm sorry, you took what I said the wrong way. <laughs> You oh, fucking, it's like, uh, like holy shit! <laughs> I love how I, it's like when I tell my wife, "I'm sorry you were upset by that." It's like that's not a real apology. What, what do you want me to say? He doesn't call the family of the no. victim. He doesn't call the players' uh, parents. This seems he calls fucking Ray Lewis. All right, so let's just say he's not calling for middle linebackering advice. <laughs> Ray Lewis is famous. Oh, maybe he is. No you don't know that. You don't Ray, know what their conversation is. Ray Lewis about, is right? literally famous. Like, it's like so, Ray, you watching this XFL? <laughs> yeah, did you know him before? <laughs> or you, you got what, your, what do you think of Sea Dragons? Your, you on the take? Your agent got you connected with Ray Lewis because he was once allegedly near a crime where he allegedly threw out his suit because it allegedly got dirty because he was he allegedly couldn't find the suit. He, he was uh, allegedly holding a bloody screwdriver that he allegedly was holding for a friend. Yeah. Two people died too. And that's in that I, the only reason you're calling Ray Lewis in that situation is to let him know that his 30 for 30 documentary about that <laughs> Ravens team is fabulous or cause you want to know how to, how to deal with a little heat. And, and, and also you learn something about the, the state of Alabama. The you can, you apparently you can have an unregistered uh, firearm <laughs> f- that's loaded in your car. Not, right. a, problem. You can, Not can, a problem. And you can, br- <laughs> maybe there's a business opportunity here. Whereas no. instead of Brandon Miller dropping it off, you can get maybe like Uber guns mm-hmm. on demand. Postmates. Hey, I, I need some what are you self- looking for here. <laughs> <laughs> Gun delivery. I service. mean, yeah. If it's not, you a, want the nine millimeter. Or you want the forty-five. If it's oh, not illegal yeah. <laughs> to drive around unregistered handguns, why not do it all the time? I create mean, you, a business. You can make a, a write the word like Uzi, but make it look like Uber. Gun. I mean, it's wow. We're we're onto something. Certainly, some red Tur- flags. Turns in out, it. this is a, a battle between two states. I'll probably not willingly go back to. Uh, one because of what I'm learning from Alabama, and two because <laughs> what happened to me in Arkansas. Uh, maybe one day I'll tell the tale. Uh, I'll, but I'll, in this case, give me the road team. Yeah, I mean, I, I do like like <laughs> we at least think the other the the other guy is not a complete scumbag. Like we knew uh, Eric Musselman's good man. I we like knew Eric Nate Oates was a scumbag. Musselman going to the SEC made me a little worried. I love that he'll still he's still willing to take his shirt off. And one of my favorite <laughs> press conferences of all time was when Musselman. This is like 20 years ago. He took he took the job of the Golden State Warriors before they were known as the Golden State Warriors. They were dumpster fire. And he's like, 
he comes in with his college background and he's like, we are going to be, you know, full court press. The effort is going to be there. He resigns like three months later. <laughs> it's like, welcome to the NBA dude. Yeah. Well, it's real. All right. <laughs> Discord gets another one. Arizona state. Well, what, what's this? We're, we green lit a pac 12 matchup. Interesting. The dust up the dust bowl, Arizona state uh, heads to Tucson to take on Arizona 11 AM tip here, just like the Arkansas, Alabama. So the second window just as lit as the first. 11 points here for Arizona, Arizona quietly just uh, doing pac 12 things. I, I will say the, I was, I was going to ask you what conference, if, if the, there's a conference that plays spoiler to the big 12, who's it going to be? Is it going to be the pac 12? Like it is always here. They, they randomly oh, show up because everyone, it, everyone would probably think it's the big 10, but the big 10 has been no, ass hey, in the tournament. They, uh, everyone knows what yeah. happens. The big 10, it turns out you're just a bunch of slow. It's probably going to be the ACC or the pac 12 yeah. because they're the last two the last two years, uh, big the 10 is like the, the, the local city yeah, YMCA champ yeah. trying to, trying to go play like semi pro ball and getting their shit pushed in. Uh, uh, Arizona is the Money only line Mac point down the check that uh big East. He thinks big East mm. could be the spoiler there, it's, we, we but do they've like had their, their struggles in the tournament too. Like go back ACC last year, the year before that was Pac 12. Would they have like, I feel like they had four teams in the elite eight or something. Um, so how do you not take Arizona here? I mean, I, you know, instinctively, I always look to take the, the underdog in a mat in like a rivalry type game, get up spot. It's Arizona state super bowl, but Arizona is so good at home. This is a tough one. This is a tough matchup. I, I'm kind of regretting green lighting this one too, over some of these other battles we could have talked. I'm going to take state. Oh, plus wow. the eleven. Now just talk rhyme. me into this because I I'm kind of leaning there, but they're in the more desperate spot. No. Yeah, they, they're they're a bubble team, and colby has been using the desperation angle a lot. Yeah, I've how's my that. locks record, asshole? Oh, oh wow! Okay. <laughs> Shots fired. <laughs> I, mean, I don't know why we're talking about assholes. You have your tripus. All right, oh, you I sit on that. your tripus. Yeah, all right. <laughs> I don't think that's what you do with a tripus, Colby. <laughs> you don't sit on it. I'm going. Uh, I'm I'm with Colby. <laughs> And not just because he shit on Kramer there. I Arizona State plus eleven. It is a rivalry game. Arizona State lost by nine at home. Like this is their super. Like they, they have nothing to lose and everything to gain by just leaving it all in the court. And Arizona, you can see how they. I, I don't know. Is this a possibly? It's a rivalry game, so not necessarily a look ahead spot. But I'll take the eleven. This feels like it's going to come down to whether or not they intentionally foul at the very end of the game. I wonder if uh, we should probably. And Arizona's got a, Arizona has UC, USC, UCLA up ahead, so I can see them looking past Arizona State a little bit. Should have the sales team also reach out to like uh, Fleshlight and Real Doll, see if they want to get in on this tripus shit. <laughs> Can't. All right, <laughs> no, Ryan. I'm, before we get to the rest of the games, shout out to Underdog Fantasy. That's right. Already getting involved in some uh, fantasy best ball, but really NBA. NHL, they got daily games over there. And I know what you think like, oh, it's just fantasy football. It's not. They have so many uh, more games to play. Very fun daily games uh, where, you know, like DFS meets Snake Draft. They also have, again, their over, their pick em game is essentially just betting on over under uh, parlay together. I mean, you know, like you look at all these. They have college basketball over under, um, you know, Xavier, Seton Hall, Jack Nunge. Ooh. Call me Jack Nunge. 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 Yeah. Jack Nunge, 13 and a half rebounds over oh. under. Or sorry, no, eight rebounds. I was about to say, I was like, I gotta lean under on 13 and a half boards. Uh I'll, I'll take the over on that. All right. So yeah. imagine just parlaying all these sweet college basketball picks. Underdogfantasy.com, oh. promo code SGPN. Get that hundred percent deposit match up to one hundred dollars. Underdogfantasy.com, promo code SG. P. That's a great idea for Colby, uh, maybe to, to 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 start out his show every night or at the end of his show. Oh, yeah. little, little underdog parlay. I like leg. that. I like that. But hold on, well, I was talking tripus here. Oh, okay. Yep. yep. Is that the the movie that Pey Peyton Hillis is starring in that's coming out this year? I, it, you know. You, you <laughs> Wait, what was it? Was it a Wolverine yeah. that he's fighting? <laughs> yeah, something with like vampires meets wolves. Um, I don't. I think that's old though. I think it yeah, so out. Tripus is his next oh, film. Oh, you're saying the sequel is Tripus? Yeah. Very well done there. Yeah, I mean, Tripus. I can yeah, see where that. Where he, right? he battles. Uh, it's somewhere between Lorenzo that. Lamas. What's makes that an movie appearance? where they were out in the desert and they had those like worm things that were Tremors? Trying. Tremors. Don't insult me. What's that movie? Come on. Well, when they when Tremors comes back, it's the Tripus that's crawling around the desert. 
Uh, I used to work with a, 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 one, a guy that wanted to, he was bartending. He wanted to be an actor. They offered him 30 grand a month in South Africa for tremors five. This guy, meanwhile, is bartending with me and he says, no, what? Well, make a long story short. He's not, but he's not acting anymore, but one of the stupidest, <laughs> stupidest, wow. he's like, you think <laughs> I should take it? I'm like, what are you fucking talking about? Go Tre- to South Africa for a oh, month. I miss yeah. Tremors two, three, and four. <laughs> but really? Still, that's surprising. Kansas State heads to Oklahoma State. Another Big Twelve matchup here in Stillwater. Eleven a.m. tip, local or uh, Pacific time. Oklahoma State laying a point and a half here. And again, the majority of these numbers are projected by the uh, the data science team here at SGPN. Oklahoma State laying a point and a half at home. I mean. We did already take a purple team with TCU earlier. I think it's a get right spot for state. Really? You've called two teams state now. I'm just, just throwing that out there. Oh, and there's you're two re- states in the I know. Yeah. yeah. Which state? You're yeah. very. You're Told very, you, state was going to win. You're very college. Uh, Colby's lock is state in yeah. this game. Yeah, that's that's a Benedict. So move well, the, Oklahoma State's got to get right here. This has got to be a Wait. spot for them to get to get the dub. Thought you were on state. Yeah, I am on state. All right, <laughs> mark me down for state. State for, state on the money line, um, yeah. I think Oklahoma State gets it done. I, I'm intrigued to watch this matchup though because you know State's I, on a three game losing streak. I, you know, College. I mean, can you really go against State here? I, yeah. It is funny. State's been red hot. I'm saying. I love when they don't have rights to use anyone's actual thing, and it's just like State. Like That's the called, Dr. Pepper commercial. Yeah, the state, yeah. yeah. Our rivals. Yeah. I like tech. Uh, how, <laughs> can you, how can you pick how can you bet against Kansas State right now? It's like the Bud Bowl. They're three and six on the road in the yeah, Big Twelve. Right. That's how you do it. Oklahoma State eleven and three at home in Stillwater at the Gallagher Arena. It will be lit here. Uh verified lit. We had uh we had Cameron at at a, at a state game recently. It was lit. Yeah, he said it was bonkers. Yeah, give me give me yeah. Oklahoma State. I'm I'm leaning into the home teams here, with the exception of Texas Tech. Yeah, I gu- I guess because it's on the road, but man, I don't know. I'm not going to be locking this one up. So I'll, I'll ride with your state play. So enjoy <laughs> enjoy Kansas State. I'd say this light game. light light possibility wrong teams favorite here, but we'll give the Discord one. Jesus, they have a heavy card for the Discord. Hope they can handle it. 11 a.m. here on the West Coast, Waco, Texas. Another Big 12 matchup. Chat's going to get mad at us. Texas and Baylor. Baylor laying three here. Well, and that of course they are our Baylor Cocaine Bears debut of a new Cocaine Bear sound effect. Enjoy. (laughs) (laughs) All right, one more time. I'm really (laughs) proud of this one. (laughs) The breathing of the the heavy breathing of the bear. After inhales all that cocaine. Uh, available in theaters. Uh, oh. You might see a preview for for uh, uh, Tripus. Oh. Well, when you're seeing cocaine bears, that's the only thing they can take down the cocaine bear. <laughs> 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 fucking Tripus. Kryptonite. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, obviously. The the the, the you know this, what's stake what's at stake here is you know Texas could still win the Big Ten uh, the Big Twelve. Uh, they're they're tied with Kansas. Kansas is going to be hosting West Virginia later on the on the card here, but. This is a, a tough spot for Texas because they're but, going well, on the road. Yeah, and Baylor's offense um, at home. I mean, they're they're adjusted efficient. Uh, they're second in the nation, and you know, dominate offensive rebounding, free throws uh, are good for Baylor. Like they're they're going to be able to put up points against Texas. I I don't know. This to me just feels like yeah. Give me the short. Give me right? those cocaine bears minus three all day. I'm not going to fade the sound effect either. Listen to the guys getting ready for the big game. <laughs> Colby or Kramer, what are you doing? Are you taking? I, uh, well, I, this is another one that I worry the spread's going to going to drop a little bit. But I'm going to continue to lean into these home teams. I, I think. Go ahead. I was going to say a, f- a few years ago, you guys gave me uh, I don't know how when I was reading some ads for like football movies, some like you, yes. do you remember that, Sean? Yeah. Well, how come Cocaine Bear hasn't contacted us? I've been hyping up this on the on. uh, I know we're giving them an insane amount of free publicity. Created a custom sound effect. Like we we have your demographic listening to our podcast. Come on, this Baylor Bears game has been brought to you by Cocaine Bear. (laughs) Yeah, that's where Sean hits the sound. Could have had Elizabeth Banks in studio making picks, but no. So Elizabeth, what? 
<laughs> what were you doing when you ins were inspired to create <laughs> Cocaine Bear? I mean, to think about what she was doing. <laughs> Uh, it involved uh, it. Ray Liotta's in it. He he well, he passed. I think the tripus was probably involved in some, some somewhere involved. Moneyline in Mac with a great <laughs> angle here. Uh, coming off back to back road losses for the Baylor Cocaine Bears, Big Twelve home teams have been great uh, coming back off mm. O2 road trip. So again, yeah, fading them or sorry, taking them coming off the loss, I think is a good spot. So I I think you're getting value uh, priced in here a little bit. Yeah, not really on topic. We were talking a little bit more cocaine bear uh, at that point, but I understand how you could tie it back to Baylor money line Mac. The Discord is <laughs> absolutely out of control with their it. All right, let's let's get to talking about two two of our favorite teams, or at least two of my favorite teams: Buzz Williams and the Texas A and M Aggies. They take to the road. This the is Starkville, Hale State, Stark Vegas will be lit. Mississippi State laying a point here. This is another one. I'm a degree. I don't have a ton of confidence that uh, Mississippi State will be the favorite. It probably because of the recent. I, I don't know. I'm I'm curious what Colby thinks. This is this. like, lo in my opinion, low key like the best game of the day. Really? Because because A and M, Bama's got the lead on A and M, but A and M still alive and they host Bama in College Station for the one seed. Buzz is right? hot. But at the Ying. same at the same time, so you got all the turmoil going on in Tuscaloosa. They they could lose to Arkansas. They almost lost to Carolina the other night. And then Mississippi State is trying to make the NCAA tournament. They they almost knocked off our Missouri team. It, they lost in overtime. Well, shout out to Cameron Kerr pointing out that like at Texas A and M, when their defense is dialed in, they really have a well, a, a, a top tier defense. A and M plays their game too. Like I think they're yeah. gonna play into Buzz's game, and I I do think. Watching him for five years at Virginia Tech, the the what caused Buzz Williams to struggle is teams that could score score more than him. Whenever yeah, they were playing a low at, scoring game, I think this is a perfect matchup for that's Texas A and M. To your I, point, Ryan, they're they're able to play with these types of. Th now I think Mississippi State wants to slow it down just as much. No, as they're gonna. Texas they're saying this yeah. is a, this is a rock fight here. This, they're gonna ugly it up, but I think the Can, way Texas A and M's defense has been playing recently. But and you show in Mississippi State, I mean, bright red, dark red on three point percentage, free throw percentage. Well, and, and really, because what is but what again? What do Buzz teams, especially this one, do? They don't really score the basketball well. They just get to the line a bunch, and they hit their free throws. Mississippi State, though, top ten defensive team. Uh, this top is top ten be a defensive game. team, yeah. but they will foul you a little bit. I I actually think this is a great match. This is a lock potential. Unrelated to my love affair with Buzz Williams. <laughs> well, you and you said they foul a lot. Uh, I mean, depending on how they call the game, Texas A&M 11 eleven uh, and a half percentage points better at the line. That is massive. So, I'm with you, Kramer. I I really like Texas A&M here. What are you doing, Colby? Uh oh, oh, oh hail wow. State! <laughs> Should right. be a good game. Can't go into Star I, Vegas. I'd like to. Um, I'd like to attend the Buzz Williams Rising Coaches Basketball Clinic uh, this year if it's being held. Now, if if yeah, Cam maybe Cameron can figure that out. He's an Aggie, uh, but yeah, I, I I feel like I need to go learn from this man. West Virginia heads to Kansas. So many Big Twelve games, Colby. It will be lit here, 1 p.m. on the West Coast. West Virginia always a fun team to take when they are at home, I assume, I mean, is we're nearing the end here. Another guy who maybe will be in the, uh, the 30 for 30 about the end of college basketball or just the ACC, even though he wasn't in the ACC. Uh, what, I mean, what's <laughs> why obviously this is on here when in they're the, in for West Virginia, the big 12 is awesome. But yeah, is this purely just you're, you're playing that desperation angle again? Yeah, I mean, well, it's just a good game. West Virginia is a lot like better than their right? record. I, I think West Virginia. I know we have talked about this on 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 the college basketball experience, but West Virginia would would win the ACC this year, dude. Like, uh, if they if you throw them in the ACC, that's why they interview Bob Huggins in the Death of the ACC <laughs> documentary. Uh, but uh, man, it's at the fog. I can't I can't take West Virginia, man. The fog is too too tough of a place to win. I gotta lay the seven with Kansas. Um. It's hard to see the tripus in the fog. Yeah, the tripus is hard to hard to spot in the fog here. All those fans say yeah, see, it's with, like a crack. All Virginia. those women wearing just, the I love dick shirts. Oh, Jake, yeah. Photoshop idea. Get that Kraken picture where the 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 beast is taking down the ship, and let's ch change it to the tripus. <laughs> I like that. <laughs>
Sorry, Colby. You were you were agreeing with me that Kansas is the obvious side here. Well, yeah. it's obvious for a reason, but West Virginia is super bad on the road. ATS. What's money line Max take? Because he's an insider there. In, in Car- uh, Cardi Morgan says Albuquerque, New Mexico, will be the most lit place, and we're not even covering the game. Our Aztecs heading into the pit. You mean it's me, Candy Morgan? Yeah. What did I say? <laughs> Cardi. Oh. I mean, it's uh, maybe that's the British version. <laughs> I'm gonna. Uh, I don't know, man. West Virginia desperate. They're getting seven points. I'm actually gonna go Mountaineers. Here. No, that's that's not we the got, right. We, take. we got we got the line on the seven and a half actually. Oh, okay. Wow. Some numbers updated, are starting to pop up. Updated huh? to seven and a half. I'm taking West Virginia. Oh, I love it even more, with Kansas. <laughs> what? That it goes up to seven. No, and that's half? just my. I like doing that. It makes me feel strong. Lean into it. The the early money is agreeing with me. Wow. Right. Moneyline Mac essentially saying take Kansas by saying he's not gonna give a pick for this game. I'm believing in West Virginia and the Mountaineers. Well, money line match. I think it's just they're they're a desperate situation. They're a good Big Twelve program, and I think they hang around late and get the cover. It's not going to be a pretty win. Sean, we do have confirmation. We will be hanging out with money line Mac in Vegas. Confirmed. Yes, sir. Hell yeah. Let's go. Well, I think that I think we're going to be uh, have a pretty strong uh, contingent of SGPN guys out there potentially. Sean. Let's go. Auburn, Kentucky. We're heading to Lexington, one p.m. on the West Coast. Kentucky laying two points here. Auburn outside of the jungle, um, going the going the wrong way on the Opiate Express up to Kentucky. I mean, I guess they can flex that they don't have any players that were uh, perhaps, you know, delivering the murder weapon. I but, mean, uh, they look returning like clean, his property. <laughs> if you're Auburn right now, are you not pointing out how clean your program is? Right yeah, now? I guarantee you. Well, between the fans, I said, well, relatively. I mean, I'm sure there's a couple of Auburn uh, no skeletons in the last yeah, eight in months, a couple bitch. closets. <laughs> Yeah, like we haven't been arrested. So like they created a scandal. They created a fake of like they, remember Brian Harson? They they created a scandal <laughs> saying he right. cheated on his wife when he really never oh, even cheated on his too. wife. I True forgot. pieces of shit. I forgot about that. Kentucky's back, right? Yeah. I uh, I kind of think Kentucky is back. Oh, and yeah. I know you're ca- maybe you're a little no, I'm not uh, joking. joking around, Ryan, but Oh, I'm 100% betting on Kentucky to win the uh, uh, the SEC tournament. No, 100%. I yeah. think they could depending on matchup. They could be frisky. I mean, they could be a uh, Colby, what do you think the odds are Kentucky to be in the Sweet 16? I mean, I, I think they can certainly do it. Are you asking like what I really think the odds would be? Yeah, like oh, oh very, long, um, very long, very long. Yeah, but what I, do you I think, think it'd you're be getting? Decently Kramer, long right what now. would you price yeah. that at? Like ten to one? But you want to get that now because I think they're probably going to win yeah. the SEC cha- uh, SEC tournament. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. I like that bet. Um, yeah, I mean, c- certainly when the when the futures start popping up, we'll have to take a look. But also, I think a lot of I think Coach Cal probably heard a lot of people talking about how shitty of a coach he's been. He's got a lot year. of receipts. I, you know, he's. He's probably a guy that doesn't get enough credit for being a pretty good coach and, and uh, for if, all and those years. If you didn't know the history of Cocaine Bear, the story oh. that it's based on, it took place in Kentucky. Oh. Of course. Really? Yeah. Hmm. Can, well, you know what they call it. I smell a little Cocaine Bear parlay of Baylor <laughs> and uh, and Kentucky. Kentucky oh. is 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 uh, Florida of the Midwest. Um, <laughs> Are they the Midwest? <laughs> well, that's why it's funny. Uh, Indiana. Uh, so another Discord pick. Holy shit. Yeah, in, Auburn just doesn't have the offense. And it, Kentucky looks styled in. Now we're heading to talk about a real basketball game where basketball was invented in the state of Indiana. Let's head to West Lafayette where Purdue hosts Indiana. Four thirty on the West Coast. It's going to be nighttime. It's going to be lit. Minus eight and a half for to Purdue. Does does Purdue have the highest uh, percentage of like massive dorks? <laughs> I mean, you just look at like. As far as a top ten program, can you find a dorkier program than Purdue? They, their colors are soft too, right? Like it's, it's like, just it's, like, like it's like Notre Dame without any pop. It's like, hey, I make just, that make that gold color, but just Col- make Colby it dull. Colby brought out a term I hadn't heard in a long time: <laughs> butt munch, and it's just it's just a, a program jam packed with butt munches. I mean, college basketball, you're supposed to be cool ass dudes. Famous, most famous. These guys couldn't, yeah. they couldn't get laid at like a freshman mix. Well, it's, when you, when you think of Purdue, who do you think of athlete wise? Zach Eady. Drew Brees. Oh, okay. oh there butt you go. munch. Yeah. Right. Classic yeah. butt munch. All time. Yeah. butt munch. Hall of fame. Butt munch. I True. got struck by lightning. You got, hey, I remember after he broke that record and he ran over they to his kids. Up. I just want you to know you yeah. can do whatever you want. Why don't you cover this spread, Drew? That's what I want. Which shout out to, uh, uh, I will say this. I saw someone post this on, on Twitter as, uh, going to, all the way back to the XFL where AJ McCarron is playing in the XFL. So he can 
create more film for his kids to watch of him playing football because his kids really like watching him play. <laughs> which I was like, ah, oh, that's that's AJ, actually... you mean legend, uh, Battlehawk legend, two and O, AJ McCarron. We need to, let's get him on the show. <laughs> Can you can you uh, have have J Mark? I'm sure it's have J Mark. That's a tough kid. Remember, he's from Alabama. Uh, have J Mark get him on the show. I'm sure it, they protect their players. There. XFL reporter and insider uh, J Mark. I mean, how do you take Purdue in this spot? Yeah, no way. No way. No Give way. me Indiana and the points. Give me, this is a rivalry game. They stupid. hate each other. This line's stupid. Do we have a real line on this better. one? Uh, seven and a half. I'm seeing. Oh, drop it. To, yeah, yeah, drop it to seven and a half. I still love it. I mean, early money must have come in on uh, on Indiana here. All right, fucking Discord. I want to see. I mean, Purdue plays good defense, but Indiana is going to be fired up for this game. I they have the offense that can hang with them too. You're, you're a big Zach Eady believer, right? That's weird. No, no, no. <laughs> that's weird. He's just a big tall guy. Because uh, you're Canadian, huh? You're coming at the Canadians. You don't like huh? Canadians. Oh, I uh, love Canadians. Just. Zach Eady is just he's a great guy to fade when when the games get really Sean, important. I would like the people in the Discord <laughs> I love Canada to post Give me some poutine. Some, post pictures some of the Toronto best Argonauts. Place. Some Argo ball. Oh, see poutine is what Canadians put on the tripus. <laughs> <laughs> it's gravy and fries. I mean, in Jersey we just call them disco fries. Up there they call it poutine. Mm. Although I do like it when it's got that. Trevor delicious. looked Trevor looked up the odds. Kentucky plus twenty plus two forty to reach the Sweet Sixteen. That's oh. way shorter. Can you than also? I thought. I'd love to know what they are to win the conference tournament. Um, th they are definitely winning that. All right, last one. Let's head out to the uh, the best conference on the West Coast. I'm just kidding. It's it's. The uh, you could argue that. that you could definitely oh, argue no, that. Stop it. St. Mary's heads the comp. Well, of LMU started pulling their weight. Yeah, St. Mary's head Pepe to, gets back on his horse. St. Mary's heads to the <laughs> eastern part of the state to take on Gonzaga. By the way, Mark Few, uh, smart move getting that DUI in the offseason, letting all this other shit happen. No one's talking <laughs> about that anymore. He, he wasn't. Remember how fucked up he was? Gonzaga laying four here. He was just taking his dogs for a ride. Yeah, no, he had fuck? like his dogs, his boats <laughs> behind him. The guy was taking yeah. like fucking. <laughs> Got in a fight with yeah. the wife. Was just kind of. You sure he wasn't part of that U-Haul where they found all those fucking racists up in uh, oh, wow. up in Idaho? Jesus there, Christ, that is nearby. <laughs> it is nearby. I mean, if people don't know geography. Idaho and, and Washington actually no, border. No, he got arrested other. in in Idaho. Oh, man. that's right. Yeah, man. that was in Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. He was trying yeah. to flee the scene, allegedly. <laughs> Yeah, I, I mean, again, this uh, this Gonzaga team, they're battle tested this year. So no one can say that about them, but they're just not that good. Oh, Ryan Hasty, a Canuck in the YouTube chat, talking a little smack, hmm. saying, Remember, we burned down Buffalo in the White House back in the day. Only America, only uh, war America ever lost was to Canada. Oh, stop. <laughs> Breaking <it>. news. <laughs> yeah, well, we carried you guys in World War II. So you're welcome, uh, Canada. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you guys got the tout that. I, man. I don't have anything. It's a great tout you guys got. I mean, I'm even cool with you guys having your weird three down football. I, I mean, I don't know why. I, I don't know why. Yeah. What's up with the hostility? Here? Yeah, gave us Jim Carrey. Had no beef. Gave us Jim Carrey. Gave us, gave uh, us Pamela I'm, Anderson. Great actress. And who can forget Andrew Wiggins, Canadian <laughs> LeBron James? All right, so obviously this is too many points here. Uh, that concludes my NBA ta takes for the next month. Uh, St. Mary's catching the points for me. I. I mean, this is just an all-time rivalry, and I think we projected this number a couple points short of this. So, a little surprised to see Gonzaga laying four, unless there's something I'm missing here. Well, uh, I mean, yeah, I, I just revenge? saw the line drop, but yeah. this is the kennel, bro. Kennel's gonna be bonkers, all right. But I mean, it, yeah. No, St. Mary's has a really good team, but Gonzaga, they this is they, re, Gonzaga has revenge on their mind. Yeah. The kennel, no one goes into the kennel. The ass chow here is going to be phenomenal. Okay. All right. I'm laying the floor with is that the why, That's why you're paying the premium. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right. I'll, the, I'll the take re some Revenge is baked into this price, and that's why it's four, but uh, I'm with Colby. Give me a, give me Gonzaga. I mean, at least the, can, the as Canadians and Americans, we can agree that uh, we both, we hate Russia, right? <laughs> <laughs> I am a real uh, yeah, don't don't yeah. don't mention Please. Russia. What do you right? got on that soundboard? All right? we'll, we'll have our whole company. I shut heard down. Cocaine Bear not even being shown in Russia. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying, man. No, I I mean realistically, I that's where realistically you, that's where it takes place. From working on a clip show, there are a ton of videos of <laughs> Russians <laughs> getting drunk and just like hanging out with bears. <laughs> yeah, like they they yeah. probably they didn't they're not going to air Cocaine Bear because that's just like a normal. Uh, it's not even an interesting movie concept. <laughs> 
for them. Like I, that's just life that's a Tuesday. in Russia. I never worked on any clip shows, but I'm a big bear connoisseur, and I uh, dude, it's all <laughs> Russia. It's all Russia. <laughs> I've watched. I've I've probably Googled you or guys. YouTube bear deaths or Co- bears. Colby's, Colby's yeah. gonna be cruising for bears tonight. Are you are you <laughs> still are you still t- taking three uh, three brown bears versus fifteen wolves? I am. I am. Uh, we need. We don't need a full podcast on this, Sean. Especially if the bears are on cocaine. All right, time for the lock dog and yeah. bonus lock. Sportsgamblingpodcast.com slash win bet bet big win bigger. I'm gonna be late to this lunch thing I got and tell them that we were talking about uh, cocaine bear and the tripus. There you go. <laughs> All right, lock dog, bonus lock, and tripus. What do you got? Well, I told you t- Texas A&M was going to be a lock for me. Okay. So we can start there. Uh, lock number two. I mean, how do we not take Arkansas? This Alabama team. Ooh. Uh, there's no way. Risky. Like, the heat has gotten so bad over the past it's in couple the hat. days. Heat's in the hat. The heat is in the hat. And for the dog, Indiana, baby. Are you oh. kidding me? What a money line to be offering. <laughs> I, I mean, Purdue. All time, butt munch, but also just an all time real, <laughs> real life choke artist as a program. So, yeah. love, right. love that we can get. They what's have that some be? NC State to him for three, sure. Three yeah. to one? Is that what we're going to get on that? Oh, my goodness. Ma- Make it bacon says, Are we watching the Dr. Phil on Discord today, Sean? Yes, we are. Uh, if you haven't joined, joined the Discord, sportsgamblingpodcast.com slash Discord, kicking off five o'clock Pacific. Eight o'clock East Discord exclusive or on the SGPN TV app. Actually, Sean, real quick. Yes. Cancel my Arkansas play. Uh, Chad is point. I, I don't uh, I don't know the updated crime pays trend, so I'm gonna cancel my Arkansas Kay. play. Give me Kentucky. They're back. Oh my god, Ryan, you stole my lock. All right, Sorry. I'm still giving what you, do you, mean you, you didn't play the Benedict music on that? <laughs> That's not, I'm not Benedicting. I still like I still like Arkansas. My lock, Kentucky minus two. Other lock. It's a volatile situation. Maybe you play the money line there. <laughs> yeah, I mean, come on. We got a new cocaine bear set. We got to play Baylor minus three. And then for my dog. Dog. Give me Villanova at home on the money line. Body clocks off for those uh, Blue Jays. Colby, what do you got? Uh, lock up uh, Baylor. Get it done. One more time for the sound effect. <laughs> I'm not, I, I can't. It, this is like the, this is right up there with dog. dog. I just don't imagine myself getting old of playing that sound. Effect. And look, I was. I mean, sh- stack of the money's on point because he was gonna. He's pretty much copying what I was thinking. But I'll switch it up. I'm gonna go money line. Uh, mm. Let's go money line. Well, no, West Virginia. Will, or I'm sorry, Kansas will be my other lock at minus seven and a half. Oh wow! wow. Okay. Okay. So, sorry, Mac. Jeez, well, uh, Mac didn't like. Mac likes him too. He just won't say it out loud. <laughs> And then my my dog. Let's find. What do I got here? Let's. I, I had it a second ago. I forgot. So I did enjoy Terrell's comment. The what's just, that? Just spelling it out. Brandon Miller got accused as an accessory to murder and dropped forty one. I mean, I'm glad I pivoted. <laughs> That's off. true. That's true. Wait. Who? So what dogs did I take here? I took Uh-oh. Arizona State. I took Uh-oh. Arkansas. <laughs> oh, you got to take Oklahoma, Arkansas. Dude. I took Indiana. You got to take Arkansas. All right. I mean, think give about me the, Arkansas. Think give me Musselman. Think give about the volatility in this yeah, situation. Let's go. Let's go. I mean, we're we're putting together a beautiful uh, tripos. <laughs> it's just a it's a I mean, it's a Indiana, robin flying carrying a tripos. Indiana, <laughs> Arkansas, Villanova on the money line round robin. Oh. You hit two of those, you're cashing nice. That's fun. All right, Dog. let's do it. Hey, we'll see you guys. Uh, later for the Dr. Phil Discord breakdown, five o'clock Pacific, eight o'clock East. Make sure you subscribe. I see all the chat is lit. It is fired up. We only got ten thumbs up. Come on, oh, toss us a Jesus. nice thumbs up. Hit subscribe. youtubecom sports game on podcast. Toss us a little five star over on Spotify. So many ways to support sports game of podcast uh, store dot sports game podcast.com. The first half unders uh, shirts are in the store. They are fabulous. The heat uh, is in the hat. The heat is in the hat. Is that a new? Uh, <laughs> is, are we are we tempting fate by releasing a heat is yeah. in the hat? We, we shouldn't do that. <laughs> okay, we shouldn't. That do feels that. a little too dark, yeah. even for our show. Yeah.
but I like saying it. It is it is a fun catchphrase. So what, it, I'm gonna use it. I think I'm gonna use it around the office. Yeah, like when you get coffee. Oh, I mean, when I get coffee, <laughs> I'm gonna say the heat is in the hat. <laughs> Please, when you go, yeah, you go say hey. You know, I like uh, two cappuccinos, and you know the heat is in the hat. And to tell me, tell me how they respond. Now, now you're gonna think this office is filled with some fucking motherfuckers drinking cappuccino. <laughs> I'm, just, right, I'm just saying. Talking out of my ass. We drink gas yeah. station coffee, <laughs> aka Starbucks. I like Thank Easy's you for idea. Participating in the sports gambling podcast. For the sports gambling podcast, I'm Sean Stacking the Money Green, and he is Ryan. Mad respect to the people who brought us Cocaine Bear. Kramer, let it ride. Thank <laughs> you.